During this lesson, you're going to build a Scrabble calculator that would work out how many points a particular word would be worth if you were using it in Scrabble. You'll learn how to loop through individual letters of a string or a word, use a match case structure to pick out different letters, and finally, how you can calculate a total of all the points that would be scored. I'm going to start up the idle editor. I'll put the shell on the right hand side and just make it fit and then I'm going to start a new file. I'm going to put it on the left hand side over here. Now what we're going to do to start with for our Scrabble calculator is input a word from the user and I'm just going to say type in your word and leave a little space at the end of that and in case they type a word with some capitals and lowercase letters it's going to make it harder for us to go through and check each one. We'll convert it all into lowercase um, I'm going to set the score to be zero and then what we need to do is go through each of the letters in the word and see how many points they're going to be worth. So just to start off with what we'll do, we'll make a loop that goes through each of the uh, letters in the word just to show you how that's going to work. Now this command len word just means work out how long that word is. So if the word had five letters, our loop's going to be for n in range. Uh, five, which means it will go zero, one, two, three, four. And we can just check we've got it working by printing each of those letters with a square bracket like this word N, and that'll print the nth letter. I'm just going to save that now, and I'm going to put it into my Python folder, and I'm going to call it Scrabble Score. I've actually got one there already, but I'm going to replace it and save it there. I'll run my code and you'll see over here, type in your word, I'll write hello, and it shows it's worked out each of the letters for us. It doesn't give us a score, but it knows which, which each letter is. Now what we need to do now is actually work out the value of each letter. So we could do it using an if series of if blocks like this. We could say uh, if um, word n equals q, then we can make our score go up by 10. And we could do that just by either saying score equals score plus 10, or we might use another variable to help us, but we could do it like that. But although we can use an or word and uh, type in two words in each one, it's still gonna be quite a lot of code. So we're trying to find a more efficient way of doing it. So what I'm gonna do instead is use a different structure. The structure I'm gonna use is called match and case. And the way this works is we can say match up uh, the nth letter of the word. I can type it carefully. Whoops, here we go. And then put a colon at the end of that. And what we're going to say is if in case it is a Q or a Z, and that vertical line just means or, it's a shorthand for writing or, our tile is going to be worth 10 points. Now, if it's not Q or a Z, we're going to use uh, sort of what's called an exception case here and we just do case underscore and that means if it's none of the above we're going to have other letters here obviously none of the above then we'll just say the tile is worth one point so that'll make it easier for us we don't have to say a is worth one e is worth one and so on we use this sort of exception here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to unindent so my cursor's leveled up with the match word because we finished that part of it but we still want to be inside the loop and we'll say the score is going to go up by whatever value the tile was. And we will also print, I think I'm going to move this part down here actually. Let's just cut that out of here. And we'll move this up there. And we'll print out the value of each tile as we go through it like this. I'm going to save that and run it. And let's hope this is going to start working. So if I type hello, it doesn't yet know that H is worth more than one, so it still thinks it's only worth one point. But if we run it again, and this time we could put in a word like quiz, which has got a Z and a Q in it, it's given us 10 points for the, the a Q and the Z correctly. Now, we haven't got a total yet, so right at the end, I think we're gonna do print, and I'm just gonna do a little row of equal signs here. And underneath that, I'm gonna write print the score. So if we run that again now, let's try quiz again and see if it adds it up correctly. There we go, it said it's 22 points in total.
So what we need to work on now is adding in the other letters in here. I'm going to actually make life a bit easier by copying and pasting sections of it. So I'm going to highlight those two lines, Control C, click underneath it and Control V. And if you're an avid Scrabble player, you will know that um, the next two highest scoring letters are X and J, which are worth eight points. So we put that in like this. We can just test it out again. Uh, I'm going to just run a word, but try it with a word uh, that has got a J in it. And so we've got eight points for that and so, so on. So that's working correctly. We just need to start adding the other letters underneath that. I'm going to paste in again here for our five letter uh, word values. And there is actually only one. So I'm going to change that for a K. And then we've got the four point letters, which are F and H. And then we need to add a few more. Um, we're all avid Scrabble players, or most of us in my family are avid Scrabble players. So I have got quite a uh, encyclopedic knowledge of Scrabble letters. So let's just check. We've got F, H, V, W and Y are all worth four points. Let's change that on here. And um, for the last couple, we've got uh, three point letters, which are going to be B. And again, I'm going to just make my life a little bit easier by copying and pasting some of this. Um, B, and then we need to have C, M, and P, if my memory is correct. And then finally, so they go up by three. And then finally, we have got two point letters. I think there's only two of these, which is a D or a G, which is worth two letter, two points as well. So let's just check we can see all that code. I'm going to give it a save and we'll run the code and type in a word. Let's just try question. So it's giving us one point for everything except the Q. Let's try another word here. Um, I'm going to type in Scrabble. So we're getting th one, three points for the C, three for the B. That's correct. So. We can try that out with a few other uh, words in a minute. But the important thing to remember here is this alternative to using lots of uh, if statements, basically by using match and case, we found a better way to search through a lot of data and pick out different um, instances. So have a go at coding that on your computer.